Today, we are in the high mountains of the Mojave Desert in Nevada. And we're going to be looking over a few magnificent juniper trees. Up here in the high mountains, the juniper tree is thriving. These mountains are owned all by the federal government. The federal government doesn't believe that the Saloka deserve to own any property in Nevada. But this look at the look at this beautiful juniper tree. It's just a magnificent specimen. And it's twisted wood. It makes when these trees die after hundreds of years, people make driftwood sculptures from them. But in Nevada Close to 85% of Nevada is owned by the federal government. People may not realize it now, but the Cubans down in Cuba are now buying land in Cuba. The, even the communist country of Cuba is letting the Cubans buy land in Cuba. Another twisted version, another twisted specimen of the juniper tree. The wind is blown at this angle, but it's still hanging into life, still hanging in there. Beautiful specimen. But back to Nevada. The Cubans now own more land in Cuba than the, Va than the Nevada people own of the land in Nevada. Communist. Communist Cuba. The people who live in communist Cuba own more of their country than the, the Nevadans own of land in Nevada because the federal government wants to hoard 85% of the land. They don't even want the poor people to have any ownership of land in Nevada. This is a really beautiful specimen here of the juniper tree. Magnificent high desert Mojave tree. Doesn't grow very many places in Nevada mostly up in the high mountains. It ranges from California to Arizona, Nevada. has a wide range of in the west to the Sierra Nevadas. But I, this has been a great juniper tree episode. Thank you.